Hello and welcome to Women Nation. I'm Chola Owens and on today's show we have artist Ellie Love, the boss from the DMV and her momager, Mrs. Elise Garrett. And they are gonna to speak to us about branding, how to pursue your dreams at a young age and what it takes to be a momager who is helping her child pursue their dream. So sit back, relax and enjoy. I'm Danita Hayes and this is Women Nation. Let's go. We all need to be encouraged in this world that's in a spin. We all need some positivity. That's why I always tune in to Women Nation. Women Nation. Women Nation. Women Nation. Are you paying $1,000 or more for rent? Is your credit score 600? What are you doing? The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to make your dreams of home ownership come true. Hayes Real Estate Team made the process so easy. Yes, we purchased our first home using our VA loan with zero down and cash back at closing. And the Hayes Real Estate Team got my house under contract in less than 30 days. The Hayes Real Estate Team, all we do is make moves for you. Life is full of firsts, like buying your first home. The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to help, so you can focus on those other, more important firsts. The Hayes Real Estate Team. The game of Monopoly taught us how to invest in real estate as a child. But unlike Monopoly, real estate investment does not come with instructions. I'm Chola Owens with World Class Realty, and I can help you pass, go, and collect your profit. Call me today. My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneur on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliehatcher.com. First time home buyers, it's time. The Hayes Real Estate Team partners with certified credit professionals to make your home ownership dreams come true. To make your move, contact us today. The Hayes Real Estate Team. Hello and welcome back to Women Nation. Again, we are super excited today for our guest. We have LA Love, the boss, along with her mom and manager, Miss Elise Garrett. Welcome guys, thank you so much for joining us. Hello, Hello. we're very happy to be yes. here. Thank you for having us. So how are you enjoying Virginia? Very much so, I turned my vacation into a pay station. I know, well, that's right. Oh, oh wow, well, like yes. I like that, travel and get paid. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you know, tell our audience and our viewers a little bit about who um, LA The Boss is and a little history of you know, the artists and mm -hmm. the things you do. Well, LA Love is 21. I'm a Scorpio. Woo. And I'm a <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and, um, so we got a lot of coming already. Yeah. I'm a recording artist slash fitness uh, motivator. I have a huge presence online. online. Yes. My um, mom manages my career. We built mm -hmm. it together from the ground yes. up. Um, we didn't pay for anything, no handouts, just hard work and dedication. Awesome. And um, we pound it out together. Yes, we do. And we bump heads sometimes, but we still get the job done. Oh my God! Absolutely. How working with your mom and you're working with your daughter. <clears throat> well, it, uh, well, we started <laughs> the journey. Up. Yes, um, when she was 15, like really mm -hmm. being on the road together. She's yeah. 21 now. So as she grew, the relationship grew even stronger because now she became a young woman and not just a girl. Mm -hmm. So I respect her uh, level where she's at. Yes. And um, now it's not mommy telling her what to do. We're just sharing ideas. So it's 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 quite a journey. I had to flip mm -hmm. hats all day. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I'm the mom now, and I'm the manager, makeup artist, stylist, you know. Everybody. So um, we've got it down now. Mm -hmm. It's um, equal ground. Um, I respect her position. And it's all about mutual respect when you're working with your daughter. You know how Absolutely. women are. You know, yeah. we want to be our own woman, and we, you know. <laughs> yeah. So growing up with her and I on the road, literally driving the road for mm -hmm. years and celebrating all our birthdays in the industry and yeah. everything that was big we did together on the road, um, it was. It's, it made us closer. Yeah. It's made us very close. But you know, awesome. the good thing about it is that because you have your mom, you know that she has your best interest yes. at heart. Yes. And she's gonna make sure that your stuff is legit, like <laughs> it's right, yeah, and tight. 
Yeah. So that is yes. awesome. That is a good thing, definitely, for yes. sure. Yeah, so and to iterate on that, I'm, in this industry, it's so male-dominated anyway. Yeah, so women, absolutely. young women and women, period, need to have that guidance. Mm -hmm. And what other way for my mother to manage my career? And uh, her former uh, past, she's an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur oh, yeah. nails and cosmetics. And yes. makeup. Yeah. Yes. yeah, so she wears many hats as being makeup artist, stylist, and all that good stuff. So together we build and we just grow every day. So I always tell young women, if you want to get into a, a beastly industry like this, mm -hmm. have guidance, know a plan, plan, plot, execute, and then go from there. Absolutely. Awesome. Well said. Awesome. So you <laughs> have 1.2 million followers yes. on Instagram. And we have a lot of uh, young women your age who are trying to pursue their passions mm -hmm. and their dreams and they're trying to brand themselves whether it be selling hair i know my niece danita's daughter is selling hair you yes. know her hair on instagram she and you know so can, what advice can you give to not just young women but anyone trying to including us trying to brand their mm. business and their name and their image and everything because you have done an awesome job yes, one point you two. and mom um, yeah mom and yeah, yeah, mama. yeah no yeah, you the advice I would give um, as, a, as an individual is know your target market and what you're trying to do mm. and who are you trying to relate to. A lot of people jump out there and don't have a clue in mind who they want to relate to and who they want to have involved in their success and what yes. they're doing. Mm -hmm. And I always say you are your best motivation. If you wake up every day and have a plan and you work that plan, no one can throw you off your path. Yeah, if you're exactly. easily persuaded that way, mm -hmm. this is not the career or whatever you chose to do. It's not might be not for you. So know your plan, know your target market, and take nothing for granted. Take advantage of every opportunity yes. because you get one life to live. Tomorrow isn't guaranteed. So yeah. the person that I am, a Scorpio, I'm headstrong, I'm determined, mm -hmm. and I'm dedicated. Yeah. And my mom always told me, if you want to do something, fully do it. Don't halfway do it. Yeah, People exactly. don't take you serious when you halfway do it. Yeah, Do it all the way or don't do it at all. And also, like, in Absolutely. getting to your question about branding, branding is such key now. Yeah. Being on the Internet, you have to establish your brand. That's what people are going to be attracted to. You can gain your brand, yes. your brand followers. So you have mm -hmm. to figure out who you are. What do you want to portray to the people? Because yeah. once you get on the internet or your social media, that is your platform. Mm -hmm. So there's millions of people you mm -hmm. can gain. Yeah, so absolutely. you have to realize how you want to come across. Yes. Yeah, and, and stick true. to it. it that's true. And stick to it. So finding your brand, it is difficult. You have to play around with a few things and mm -hmm. how you want to be portrayed. But then you have to capture that mm -hmm. and be consistent. When you're consistent, then people will follow. Yeah, but if you're so switching true. all over the place, then they don't know how to take you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. that's so true. that's very important. And that's what we figured out. And this young that's lady awesome. is just making me smile because she's so smart. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. so <laughs> she's smart. She knows yes. what she's talking about. She she's got her head on straight. Absolutely. I love it. Thank I do. You. I do. I couldn't ask for a better daughter. And Aww. I do have another one, 31. And, you know, I just didn't have those problems. Um, that I couldn't, you know, been blessed with, but they're not perfect. But um, nobody, is. they're yeah. yeah, they're very um, smart because they know what direction they want to go in, yeah. and I'm just here to help them, you know, go forward mm -hmm. and uh, protect. Well, you in have the done business. an awesome yeah. job, yes. Yes. young lady. Give yourself you a have, yes. Oh yeah, I'm blessed. Yes, you <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. You have done awesome. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, you know, we're, we we wanted to make sure that we showcase you and let our audience and our viewers see, yes. you know, your beautiful. So, Thank you. Um, and so that they can go and follow and support you. And we wanted um, our viewers to have an opportunity to speak with your mom and mm -hmm. see who's the person behind yes. um, who this lovely lady is. And so um, I think we're about to go to break in, in a second. Yeah, so. we're going to have to take a quick break. And then we will be right back with L.A. Love, the boss, and Miss Elise Garrett. Yeah. <laughs> see you in a few. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneur on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliehatcher.com. Posture Distinguished was created by three childhood best friends who are also entrepreneurs. We wanted to get together to use our community involvement to empower women and provide them with the opportunity for women to promote their businesses while we reach out and support each other. Please join us Saturday, September 23rd from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Conference Suites located in Northern Suffolk, Virginia. 
Tickets will be available at Posh and Polish Nail Lounge or Lavish Hair Lounge. There will be special deals and promotions exclusively at the event, so don't miss out. The game of Monopoly taught us how to invest in real estate as a child. But unlike Monopoly, real estate investment does not come with instructions. I'm Chola Owens with World Class Realty, and I can help you pass, go, and collect your profit. Call me today. Women Nation. And welcome back to Women Nation. We are with our guest today, Mrs. L.A., the boss of DMV, honey. Yes. And her momager, Mrs. Elise Garrett. And we wanted to get a little bit of history on you, momager. Oh. Okay. And how did you get into, because that's a full-time job helping your daughter, and a lot of us don't have the patience. Yes. We don't have the income. <laughs> right. We don't want to be around our children. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. You know, so, All of those. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so what made, you know, what made you decide that this was something you wanted to dedicate your life to? Well, um, life changes. Um, I can tell you this. I don't want to go too extended into um, situations, but I can say that death, will change you. I lost my mom first mm -hmm. and I, I come from owning my own salons and the beauty thing and mm -hmm. makeup and she grew up in the salon so that's you know the whole beauty thing is something both my girls grew up with. Mm -hmm. I taught etiquette and all of that for Barbizon and models and oh, all okay. of that so that's my background. Yes. Um, but death I lost my mom and then 10 years later I lost my dad and that's when I decided to get out the business because I had to take care of him mm -hmm. and she was pursuing her dream mm -hmm. okay. at 13 mm -hmm. and dad loved it she performed for him up to the end and she always performed in my shop but once I buried my dad you know sad things come but also things that are good come behind it yeah you know so you always mm -hmm. think this is the worst but actually if when dad got buried and I waited a year I just didn't feel like everything was the same you know I no longer had my shop mm -hmm. you know which was my life mm -hmm. yeah. and um, I went to work for um, the weight loss place and stuff I'm, I'm from management so I mm -hmm. could get a job doing anything corporate of course. Um, so um, I decided you know what I was putting her in showcases and it was so dreadful coming home to have to go do a show mm -hmm. you know working eight ten hours and mm -hmm. like you said yeah. the finances and all of that so I decided um, we lived in Maryland I just said I'm going to just forget about it because my dad's last words were make sure she gets where she's going I know that's oh, right. Wow. that just mm -hmm. kept pounding yeah. in my head you know and he said she's a star get her wish you know and, and, and he said that proud. yes no seriously so <laughs> that right there just stayed in my head mm -hmm. and I kept saying he's right I need to do this I had bought my home already mm -hmm. I had lived out my dreams that I pursued um, I've done a lot mm -hmm. so I said you know what I'm a single parent and um, I said I'm gonna listen to dad and I woke up and I said, we're moving to Atlanta because Maryland is not where it is. She said, what? Mm -hmm. I said, yeah. So I sold the car. I the took the van down. I said, I'm, I made everything downsized. You know, mm -hmm. I packed up the home. I put it in storage. I went down Georgia. I had um, my ex was down there, but not in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So I got down there, then I combed out the area, and then I got us a place. And I said, I got to learn this business because I'm an entrepreneur. I cannot do anything based on somebody yeah. just telling me something. Mm -hmm. I have to go mm -hmm. get it. You know, so I, yeah. Yeah. we yeah. made mistakes. I learned it. I listened a lot because this business is uh, quite trickery. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of trickery going on. Yeah. So um, I learned and um, I said, you know what, I can do this because I can move any business. Mm -hmm. It's just a different product, and mm -hmm. you have to learn the background of it. And once I learned that, I just, you know, it was the best thing we could have ever done, you know, just to learn it and grow together. I took and made my management company. Mm -hmm. I've helped all the artists along the way, awesome. you know, so it's you're a beautiful thing. Yes, yes, I'm a true yes. entrepreneur. Yes. So, yes. Mm -hmm. so yes. bad things, like I tell people, always you're going to come out at the end shining. So just embrace life journey and, you know, go through the motions. Mm -hmm. But don't stay in the hole. Yeah. yeah. Okay? So you have to come out and then proceed to live again. Yeah. And awesome. so it's through her. You know, I'm no singer, girl, please. <laughs> I'm no, no rapper either. I can't hold a beat, nothing. <laughs> so I don't live that part through her. Mm -hmm. But um, given all I have of me mm -hmm. into her, I love to see her blossom every day. That's you awesome. know, she's my That's little Barbie beautiful. doll. Love you. you know, playing with the dress up and the hair and all that. But Aww. the knowledge that she has as a woman, you it know, makes it makes me proud. Yes. So that's very that, well that's together. pretty much my journey. We just took off together. We lived, <laughs> who would I ever thought we come from the county suburbs, country town? 
um, that we went to Georgia, but we also went to New York and lived in Brooklyn. Wow. wow. Yeah, she was like, oh my God, we can live, you know. She, yeah, you really yeah we really yeah. hustled. Um, we've done many things together, shows. Um, she was performing in clubs. Um, mm. She just had to determine and define who she was. We wanted to do pop music, wanted to do urban music. So she'd done a genre of things and now, mm -hmm. This is who she really is. That's awesome. And is. Um, so that journey, I'll tell any person with a young female, mm -hmm. um, make sure you have everyone close to you yes. around you. Mm. Trust the people that came with you. Right. Um, it was a lot of people in the business try to break us up. Um, mm. If anybody tries to take you from your mother, they're usually not so good for you. Right. Mm -hmm. Even down to relationships. Mm -hmm. Like if they don't want you to be around your family, something's wrong something with that. Red flags. So... Um, we've had that whispering mm -hmm. in her ear, yeah. underage. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all of what you hear mm -hmm. is two times that. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a it's a rewarding career if you choose it. Um, but you know, you gotta have thick skin and you have to have people around that trust you because for a female in this business, it is. Um, I can't even describe. Just have to be careful. Yes, yeah. you know, and the people that you think that won't will. Like yeah. it's mm -hmm. um, that, you know, and luckily we have it, you know, the trust mm -hmm. between us and also with your girls and, you know, just raising girls, mm -hmm. yeah. the secrets that they'll keep. Mm -hmm. And um, I went in, you know, school her. I said, let me tell you, when I leave or when I'm in the bathroom, you know, they'll start talking mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Let me know what they say and just deal with it. Tell like, you know, because we could tell something, you know, I just yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And they would definitely Wisdom. say, you know, you don't need your mother or we could do this, yeah, you know. Yeah, so, the devil is okay. yeah, it's really yeah. terrible. Yeah. So stay close with yours mm -hmm. um, if you choose it. And the young girls out here that, and I get to see it, um, that are out there without a parent that's 18, 19, and just, you know, moving around. Yeah. And I understand you want to pursue your dreams, but they, it's, it's a hard business. Mm -hmm. I just hate to see the misuse of a young lady. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's it's really, um, you know, heartbreaking. So, so, at what age do you think, or what age was she at when you actually discovered her talent? Ooh. Well, let's speak on the defining moment. Well, then to, the beginning well, of time. <laughs> She started walking at seven months. The doctor could not believe it. Like, really, wow. not crawling, nothing. Mm -hmm. Just shoom, wow. okay? She was ready. She never could sleep in the crib because she crawled out. She <laughs> climbed up everything in the house, um, you know, and things like that. So when she was two, oh, God, we took her to Chuck E. T. She was up there bumping. Mama said, get that girl. She up there shaking her booty. <laughs> she danced to everything. Elevator music. Ch we go to Chinese restaurants. She wouldn't dance to any sound there was. I thought she was going to be a dancer, okay? Um, and pick up that skill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poetry. Keep off, pole, keep off the pole. Yeah. Right. Poetry. She um, decided she was writing. I guess around mm -hmm. nine, ten. She, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't believe all this writing was coming out of her. Like, where are you getting this stuff from? You know. Mm -hmm. And she started writing, and she would win poetry contests, and then in school, and things like that. So she had it in her. Mm -hmm. But at the age of twelve, yeah. I think I put her on her first showcase, showcase. Mm -hmm. and I never forget it because I. She looked like Beyonce up there. <laughs> but in the, yeah, cry. yeah, it was like, whoa, she had the long wavy hair and she had white jeans on a white shirt and she was up there giving it up. I said, <laughs> she said, giving it up. And was that the Patapsico arena? I said, oh my God, I'll just sit back, you know, to see your child up there doing yeah. it. And she handled the crowd and everything and everything that we rehearsed in my living room. She was doing she like was doing two times, just over the top, right? It's like, she's like so happy to be on stage. And I was like, that's Dad it. was still talking to me at this time, yeah, like, yeah. we got to do this. That's mm -hmm. when I was really saying, oh, my God, she really wants this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's when I said, okay, that's the defining moment. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. how does it, you know, what advice can you give to women, especially young women who don't have a yeah. blessed and awesome, one, one thing you have in this industry that yes. a lot of females do not have yes. is her. Cherish yeah. it. And mm -hmm. you never it's let rough. anybody separate that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for God. He the only one. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. You know? So, um, after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how, what advice can you give to any young girls who don't have that supporter and role model? I mean, my mother did support me in a lot of things, but my mom was a mom. She was Kid like a lot of moms. You know, Go to college. You, yeah. you know, when I wanted to pursue certain things. So, well, what advice could you give to females mm -hmm. especially who don't have someone watching yeah. over them like your mom is watching over you because it's a lot of them that's doing yes. stuff on instagram and the real reality yeah, um, yeah. 
Yes, I am blessed to have my mother um, by my side and um, we developed this together. I can't speak on too much of what I haven't experienced, but me, myself and I, if I did not have that guidance, I still have me, I still have a dream and I still have a vision. If you have those things, there's no stopping you. I always tell people, it's not going to stop you because you don't have support. Mm -hmm. Is your dreams going to go to waste because you don't have the finances to finance your career? Mm -hmm. Work with, with you, God, which is you, your inner self. Talk to yourself. Yeah. Whatever yeah. your name is, talk to yourself out there and be your best support system. Because yeah. there's a lot of people yeah. today that said I wouldn't even be right here oh, with yeah. the platform that I have. Yeah. But I utilized it. Mm -hmm. I took advantage of my opportunity and I went for it. What works for you won't work for me. And yeah. what works for me won't work for you. God has a divine plan for all of us. That's right. So stick true to yourself and just know what you want and just go after it. But please, no matter what you do, don't have a man or any one friends ever deter you from where you're going. Yeah. Because mm. men will try to do that. And women, we've got to stay stronger than that and be stronger than that and realize what we're capable of. That's right. And be supportive I, of one another. Women yeah. Nation. Love her. Honey. Yes. I love yes. her. And she, yes. Her. She's she got a head on. Mm -hmm. It's real she too. She is a motivation. Yeah, she, yeah, she does yes. mean it. Yes. And you know, I wanted to also address um, like her Instagram and we get we had got a lot of flack because she shows her body and da 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 da. Fitness model. Well, you know, she works out, she takes care of herself, she's proud of that. And yes, it's um, it taken off for her on the um, internet, you know, mm -hmm. with her body and all of that. But, you know, she's natural head to toe, she loves it, she embraces it. Mm -hmm. And I was the first one to take a butt shot, you know, had no problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we ready, but I did wait for her to get 18. Yeah. yeah okay. I said, okay, yeah. we're going to do this, We going because we were mm -hmm. wearing the shorts, you know, covered up. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, she says, mom, it's a visual world. She convinced me. And I was like, oh, no, you can't, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so we get a lot of fact. But at the same time, I know she ain't out there. That's yeah. just the perception yeah. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You got to realize, like, behaviors and body language are the difference. Two you can have um, Pam Greer, her idol, yes. take a naked picture, and it looks eloquent. Mm -hmm. Then you can have another model take a naked picture in that body language okay. saying yes. something else. Yes. yes, you know. Yes. So you said it before all, I could get it out. We both said Kardashian. It's all That's in terrible. the way you have your body language, your mannerisms, and you mm -hmm. know your etiquette of being a woman. Because mm -hmm. um, nudity has been around before the biblical times. I yeah. mean, it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just the way you portray your mm -hmm. art. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I tell so, everybody as absolutely. well as that on Mon uh, Motivational Mondays, it's never what you do, it's how you do it. It's Two how people you do can it. do the same thing, but one looks classy and the other one just looks trashy. Right. So you never, if you're feeling, if you feel like you need to be validated through a person and, they trying to, and they're trying to make you feel bad about what you're doing, mm -hmm. forget about it. Just yeah. don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Just absolutely. focus on you and what you're doing. And it's enough people out here to gravitate yeah. towards your own fan base. Mm -hmm. You absolutely. know? And women, we should really support one another. Mm -hmm. You know, instead oh, of being negative. Hate, it's a business, mm -hmm. you know? And to, for any girl that's trying to pursue the business, mm -hmm. I'm very proud of you. You know, because it's a tough business to be in anyway. Yeah. Doing the show that you're doing, yes. anything that you do to achieve, you know, greatness, it's tough. And you're going to have haters. Yeah. Yes. But let them motivate you. Don't worry. Worry about it. <laughs> you know, yeah, don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah. You know, and yes. I don't even really address the word haters because I don't, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I don't really even thrive on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just know what we want to do and what she wants to achieve, and mm -hmm. um, I'm just here to support that dream. Yeah. Well, You'll yes, have your non believers um, and your believers, but turn your non believers into believers and um, don't concentrate on who doesn't believe in you. Right. Concentrate <laughs> yeah. on, on the who ones believes that, yeah. in you. Right. Yeah, so I always focus on her fans and give them mm -hmm. what they want to have and, and constantly grow her fan base, yes. but at the same time, we have a large fan base to please yeah. and that are writing for her so we constantly put out good content right. and, and things of That's that nature. Right. So what events do you have coming up here so that our viewers and and anyone who's following you will know what's mm -hmm. going on with LA Love, the boss baby. Well, yeah. I yeah, there you go. Well, I just released my new uh, music, uh, DMV and So High. It is on YouTube under LA Love, the boss. And I'm in a new film called The Lit on um, Netflix. I'm in there. I'm a cast member. Woo! I got it. Oh, yeah. I'm Absolutely. really, um, yeah, I'm really excited with that. Clifton Powell and um, Michael Blackston. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. We didn't even know. Yeah. So. What's out the back? <laughs> yeah, oh, you heard it here on Women Nation first. Yes. All right. And um, film, television, and um, bigger, bigger projects. 88 Fingers produces all my music. Uh, hey, you got hey, a new hey. EP. Hello. We got a new EP <laughs> um, dropping and um, just expanding the brand. Yeah, yes. awesome. she's in a good she's in a good space. It's really taken off. This is her year. 
it well, is. No, there you. We want to really thank you guys for stopping thank by. Thank you. Coming down to Any Virginia time. to hang out with Any Women time. Nation. I enjoyed yes. this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Women have to, remember, women have to support one another. Absolutely. We can do big things Absolutely. together and accumulate yes. greatness. Make sure you keep up with me on Instagram at L.A. Love the Boss, and that's L-A-L-O-V-E-T-H-E-B-O-S-S. -S. And my website is www.lalovetheboss.bigcartel.com. Get your natural. Yeah, that's also her brand. Right. Get your natural. I <laughs> love this show. Don't forget. Thank you so much. I so enjoyed this interview. Thank you, Thank you guys. And whenever you guys are in Hampton Roads, please stop by and let us yeah, know. Absolutely, so we can absolutely. Come get footage. And I'm going home to Netflix, and we about to watch you, honey. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, baby. All right. We'll be back with Thank our final you. words of wisdom. The game of Monopoly taught us how to invest in real estate as a child. But unlike Monopoly, real estate investment does not come with instructions. I'm Chola Owens with World Class Realty, and I can help you pass, go, and collect your profit. Call me today. Life is full of firsts, like buying your first home. The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to help, so you can focus on those other, more important firsts. The Hayes Real Estate Team. My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneur on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliecatcher.com. And welcome back to Women Nation. And before we go today, we wanted to end with our final words of wisdom. As you saw today, our guests were very inspiring. No matter how old you are, you can pursue your dreams and you can be successful. You just have to be consistent, know who you are, and keep up the good work. So we're excited today to have those guests and they really inspired us and we hope that they inspired you. Let me tell you something, honey. Don't play with it, slay with it, because baby girl came up here and she wowed me. She did. She is the total package. And my final words of wisdom for you guys today is to make sure that the package is complete. Don't look all good on the outside and when you open your mouth, nothing else comes out. What killed me today about this young lady was that once she started talking, I didn't see none of the outside beauty because her articulation, her education, and just the way she presented herself today on our show motivated me and inspired me as an older woman. So if we have younger girls out here doing things like that, what is our excuse? Mm, What's our good. excuse? We have none. We don't. So it's time, ladies. It's time to change what you want to change and be who you want to be. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you to our guests. And we will see you next time on Women Nation. Women see you next week. Nation. I really like that show. I love her, honey. Mm. We all need to be encouraged in this world that's in us spin. We all need some positivity.